Qatar warns of an explosive situation following a deadly Israeli raid on Nablus. Qatar Airways takes off as the new sponsor for Formula One. Could the smartwatch on your wrist be bad for those with cardiac implants? Stick around for more. And finally, the draw for this year's Emir Cup has been revealed. Hi, it's Fatma and you're watching The Roundup. Here are today's top stories from Qatar. Qatar has condemned systematic crimes by Israel after a deadly raid on the West Bank city of Nablus on Wednesday. At least 11 Palestinians were killed when armed Israeli forces stormed the city. In a statement, Doha called for the world to hold Israel accountable for its crimes and warned the latest incident risks serious escalations in the occupied territories. And now, it was a stunning evening for Lusay Boulevard which brought together hundreds of people to unveil Qatar Airways as the official sponsor of Formula One. This means Qatar's state airline has taken over Dubai rival Emirates, which had reportedly paid $25 million a year to sponsor the global racing competition since 2013. While details have been kept discreet, company sources say the deal would be worth hundreds of millions of dollars. And in health, certain implanted cardiac devices like pacemakers could be affected by wearable fitness and wellness trackers. A study says patients with specific types of devices from three top manufacturers could be affected if they wear smartwatches or fitness trackers. Researchers say the life-saving devices are at risk of being disrupted due to the electric current used in wearable smart devices. And finally, defending champions Al Dihel will take on second division Al Khiratiya in the round of 16 fixture of the Emir Cup. The Emir Cup is played every season by first and second division teams of 16. Now, 18 time winner Al Said will go up against trophyless Al Marhiya. Meanwhile, Al Garrafa will face Qatar Sports Club, while Al Sayliya will take on Al Riyan. For more on the nation's most exciting cup, head over to our website. That's it for me today. For more stories, head over to our website, dohanews.co, and make sure to download our app for your daily updates.